Okay, so you're doing pumpkin season this year? Are you? How convenient. Oh, you can't talk. Oh, sorry. Mm. So yeah, I, I debated, like, I, I mean, in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, what are my kids gonna think? People are gonna say, you know, Hem and Hall, why? But yeah, I'm doing pumpkin season this year. <laughs> And it's so funny because a lot of people will ask me, well, where are the kids? Where are the kids? I said, you know what? And I think, <laughs> of, well, the thing is, I think of myself at your season of life right now. I said, well, you know, if they come, they come, but I'm not expecting that. Right. I could see Zachary maybe taking Jackson, but I will not be going to pumpkin season this year. We've really? already, like, we're doing our own tradition for, yeah. for harvest and all that this year, you know? Like, it's just... I don't, I don't need to be a part of it. It's a sad place to me now, and I don't need to like go to a sad place. That's just not healthy, yeah. so. It's still sad for me to go there because I'm thinking what this could have been. Yeah. Things have changed, you know, the place is up for sale. and right. It's just different. It's, it's like, I don't even know this place anymore. Right. And then of course, you know, the whole thing between Matt and Chris, I'm like, oh brothers. Or a little and, romance. Yeah. Are you okay with that? The one thing I told myself, Tori, it's like I bring a lot of baggage in. He's never been married. He doesn't have kids. Zach and I have talked about it, though. We, like, worry about you sometimes. And just, like, we want to make oh, sure that you're, like, uh, yeah, like, that you're comfortable there and that, like, you know. Because well, we have such an emotional, like, mm -hmm. issue with it right now that, like, I can't even imagine where your head space is at. It's so funny. And we love that, like, Chris gets along with Matt, but we also just, like, Oh, yeah. Hope he recognizes, like, no. the lines, I guess. He, he, Tori told me that her and Zach were just worried about me, and I think it, it might have been the first time that I heard it so directly from any of my kids. And I really wanted to try not to be on the defense. This was really about love and concern for me. So there's a part of me that felt glad that they were, were thinking about that. I, I tried to do really good at the absolutes of, there's a lot going on here and I've got a lot of history and it doesn't work for me. Right. The, the stage of life that I'm in, um, I, I think I'm able to give Chris a place to be heard and also he does the same for me. But with Matt, everything was happening and chaotic, keep moving. I think, you know, you lose the fact that you didn't give each other what you really need in a relationship. I think we all saw how, like, devastated you were that it oh, but didn't I, work out. I like marriage, like, I, the whole concept of it, and right. and it should last a lifetime, you know? Right. But I, I, I had to contain myself because it's like, I, I, I got to handle myself in a way that not only can I be proud of myself, but also... But you also had kids. And you had a But I also kid had kids. Jacob, like, yeah. Divorce was hard on me. And I realized how much it played on me and how close I could have been destroyed internally, emotionally, mentally. And I think I came away from divorce being proud of the fact that I had something to stand on. And that was my faith. It was being a mom because I cannot let myself go there knowing that I've got four kids to still be here for. So they gave me a purpose, they gave me a reason. And they will always be till... In, in a lot of ways, um, my kids were my saving grace. I just hope I was a good, good enough mom for them. But seeing who they are now, seeing who they're becoming and family life, they're married, they've got 